guys, so I have another nail art tutorial for you today And this is the nail art that I wore on my graduation day And it is inspired by my kebaya If you guys have never heard about kebaya before, it is Indonesian traditional costume And we usually wear it for special occasions like traditional wedding and graduation And to be honest with you guys, one of the reasons I couldn't wait to graduate is because I want to wear kebaya Anyway, enough chit chat and let's get into the tutorial as for the base, I used a similar technique as my stone jewels nail art and I go into more detail on that video so you can check that video out if you want to The only difference is I applied an iridescent flaky glitter first with this one for a smooth gradation and then using different shades of blue, a white polish and a makeup sponge I dab all the colors from the lightest to the darkest and I just dab the color randomly on my nails to finish off the base, I applied this iridescent blue flaky glitter to emulate the shine of the sequins on my kebaya. If you use a liquid palisade beforehand, it would be really easy to clean up the mess. Next is to draw the batik pattern on the kebaya, and it's actually so much easier than it looks. And here are my few tips for drawing details in nail art. Of course, you'll need a brush with tiny bristles. It doesn't necessarily have to be a nail art brush. In fact, I'm actually using an art brush and I trimmed the bristles a little bit myself. Okay, the first tip is to keep your hands steady for more accurate drawing. And then plop the nail polish that you want to use on a piece of paper for easy access. And then you only need to dip the tip of the brush into the nail polish bottle. For this particular pattern, you can google filigree as a reference but basically I just drew a bunch of swirls, lines, and dots Now, if you are not comfortable with drawing continuous line and swirl the easier way to do them is by drawing each end of the swirl or the line and then connect it in the middle Another important thing is to have nail polish remover ready to clean your brush when it starts to get stiff from dried nail polish built up and you can always retrace some fake lines to make it more obvious Retracing some line will also give you that nice thick and thin strokes effect and that's pretty much it After that, I used crushed shells to emulate the sequence I will put some links down below on where you can get them to stick them, I just put some top coat and stick them on my nails <laughs> And then to finish it off, I put more iridescent glitter from before To make it sparkles even more Because there can never be too much sparkles guys And that's it for this tutorial, I hope you enjoy it And don't forget to share your recreation with me either on my Instagram or my Snapchat And all is religion168 other than that, I hope you guys have an amazing day as always, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!